Hi all, it's Rocky again. Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I thought it'd be fun to uh, look at how many PC digital games I own. On what services... Just... I've had to keep refilming this because every time I go to f film it, I've written all the numbers on a little post-it note. The numbers keep going up. So I'm old. I remember when PC games came on... Discs. CDs, DVDs. You used to have to sometimes install the game, you'd play it, and that was it. Uh, later on you'd got CD keys in the boxes, so you couldn't just give the CD to your mate. Then along came a game called Half-Life 2. It had this horrible DRM that people hated. That DRM was called Steam. People hated Steam when it first arrived. And then when Valve started selling more and more games on it, well, the rest is history, really. And if we talk about digital gaming on buying digital games on PC, then Steam is where it all started and now we've got all these services just all over the place. So I've had to, in some cases, install the client for the first time ever just to figure out how many games I actually own. This is just PC games, this isn't console games at all and the number actually quite surprises me. So what I thought we'd do is we'd just go through each of the services in no particular order, apart from the fact Steam is going to be the last one, because I mean that's the biggest number. So, let's start with the one at the top of the list, Epic Games, the Epic Store. As you know, Epic's Fortnite, they made that much bloody money, got their own store and started giving away games. I haven't ever spent a penny on the Epic Store. I own 94 games on the Epic Store. I'm scrolling through them now. We've got some AAA stuff. Batman Arkham, Batman Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Borderlands, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Darksiders 2, uh, Death Infinite Edition, Darksiders, Thimbleweed Park, oh that's a Dolores mini game, that's pretty good. Farming Simulator 2019, FTL, Fez is a great puzzle game, GTA 5, there's, love it or hate it, there's one of the biggest games of all time, and it was free. Just scrolling down, tons of Lego games, stuff like Limbo. Oh, I like Limbo. Yeah, yeah, what else have we got here? One of my, Civilization, the latest one, Civ 6. Was it Civ 6 or Civ 5? But whatever the current Civilization is, it was free. Uh, Soma, Subnautica, Surviving Mars, Super Hot, The Stanley Parable, The Walking Dead, The Talos Principle. Thimbleweed Park, which is an amazing game. I love Thimbleweed Park. I own it on multiple platforms. Watch Dogs, Ukulele, Transistor. 94 games I did not pay a penny for. How many of those games have I installed and played? None. Not a single one. Do I want to? Yes. There's Civ, definitely. There's uh, dozens of games here I want, I want to play. I'll play again. That was just, they didn't cost you anything. Just free. Right, next on my list we have GOG or Good Old Games. So GOG is GOG Galaxy. Now these I have played a few of and I do I have paid money for a few of them. So I own 81 games on goodoldgames.com or gog.com. Some of which I have played many, many times. Let's have a look. Beneath of Steel Sky, one of my favourite point and clicks of all time. I've played for that multiple times in multiple formats. Can for a 1 and 2. Love them. I the Behold I Know was free the other day, so that's free. Flight of the Amazon Queen, that's a free game. Free Space 2, one of the best space combat games you'll ever play. Amazing game. Postal, MDK, SimCity 2000, Sid Meier's or Mirror's Alpha Centauri. I love the Alpha Centauri. What else we got here that's good? Tropical, I've never played that. Wing Commander Privateer. Wing Commander Prophecy, a game I've played so much of, it's ridiculous. Oh look, I got Wing Commander. Wing Commander 2. Wing Commander 3. Wing Commander 4. Wing Commander Secret Ops. Prophecy. Yes. Right. Some of these games I got free, others I paid literally pennies for during the sales.
Great site. Love GOG, good old games. These are all DRM free as well. So that's GOG. Origin. EA's service. So we all love EA. I have never paid a penny for any of these as far as I know. I know some of them may have been codes I had. I seem to distantly remember that if I had codes for the PC versions of games that were installed on Steam or something, I got them again on Origin it was when it first kicked off. So Origin's likely less. I've got 21 games on Origin. Again, I've never... Actually, that's not... I've never played any on Origin. I've certainly played some of these games on this list. First one on the list is Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. And the expansion was Yuri's Revenge. Brilliant game. The, the first Dead Space. Really good game. Mass Effect 2. The best in the series. That's a great game. Peggle, Planets vs. Zombies. They're both really good. Syndicate. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. SimCity 2. The Sims. The Sims 4. Wing Commander 3. I don't remember even... I have never spent a penny on Origin Store by own all those games. I don't know deals. The next one's a really interesting one I totally forgot about. Ubisoft have their own platform. Apparently I own two games on it. For Honor and Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. They must have been freebies at some point for something. I have no idea how, I, how they ended up on my list. Um, not exactly the store of choice for me. So the next one up, whether you want to call it Amazon Games or Games with Twitch Prime. So basically as an Amazon Prime subscriber I get Amazon on Twitch so every, well, seems to be every week at the moment, you get free, not just like garbage add-ons for free to play games, actual free games and there's an Amazon Games launcher you download. This one really surprised me. I have 150 games on the service. I've literally never installed it until the other day. And it's an eclectic mix of stuff. The most recent game in, in, uh, I bought, digital license, is Mad Trucks. They've got things like Dream Daddy, King of Fighters 2, Max Curse the Brotherhood, like that. Uh, what else have we got here? Turok, pretty good. Uh, American Fugitive, Splasher, I really like Splasher, I've got that on other formats. Enter the Gungeon, that's good. Darksiders 2, Definite Edition. That Deadlight, I like Deadlight a lot. Hotline Miami 2, I love Hotline Miami 2, not so much the first one. Melt Slug 2, I oh, brilliant, love Melt Slug. The Banner Saga. Um, Republic, Observer, Broken Age, System Shock 2, System Shock, Brutal Legend, The Escapists, so much, Dear Esther, these games are all over the place. And again, you may say I paid for them, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, it came Steam World Deck. They're free from Amazon. You know, I, I own... I, I've never I had this launcher installed before. I certainly want to play a lot of these games, though. It's 150 on Amazon. Next up, second to last, the Windows Store. So this one's a bit more difficult, because when you go to the Windows Store and you go to games, it shows you a ton of stuff that you... that maybe be cross-platform from the Xbox, or... Long story short, I've only put two down for this. Two games I know for a fact I bought on the Windows bought on the Windows Store. I actually paid money for one of them. I bought Thimbleweed Park on the Windows Store because I wanted it on the it's cross play. So if you buy it on the Windows Store, you get it on the Xbox as well as the PC. Excuse me, and I want to play through it with the achievements because I'm sad. Um, I bought that when it was on sale. Just coincidentally, I was also an original Kickstarter backer, so I have I have it on Steam as well. So I've played through it on Steam the first, then I played through it on Windows. I believe I've got it on the PlayStation 4 as well. The other game, it was free the other day, Lemmings. PC version of Lemmings, so there's two games. Two games. Now the big boy. 
Now the one that everybody will be, oh, I've got more, I've got less. And 90% of these are bought. Steam, I'm on Steam right now. We go to home. Oh, how many is that? Oh, 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 look. 513. Which has actually gone up since the last time I looked by two. How many of those I've played? I have no idea. That's 530. What did I say there? Oh, Christ. Steam's changed the way it works again. Yeah, 513 games on Steam. That's a lot of games. That is a lot of games. Oh. Let's have a look. Jeez, peeps. Let's see what I played recently. Worms, WMD. Stuff I've obviously just been. Uh, Dolores, Thimbleweed Park, Mini Adventure. That's good. I've certainly played through all the Hotline Miami on this. Um, I've certainly played through all the Bioshock 1 and 2 and Minerva's Den. Too Much Civilization. Uh, more Hammer Dawn of War and most of the expansions. Wings Remastered Edition. Oh, that's a story for another day. FTL. XCOM Terra from the Deep. I've just gone through. There's just so many games. So that in total is 863 digital games I own on the PC. A little less than half of, roughly. Oh, let's take off there. So 350 of them. Take off. Say 300 plus of them I have never paid for. Never, never, never. And I would honestly think I probably played less than 200 of those games. Crazy when you think about it. Anyway, how many games do you own? How many games do you play? Leave a comment below. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.